Yo, what's up, yo? This is Killer Priest, and I'm representing right now for Kofi Universe. That universe is the universe you should be in. YouTube salute. Grandmaster Cass clarifies comments on Latinos being guests in hip hop. Let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video. Hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Please check out Rock Marciano on Alchemist, the Elephant Man's Bones review. In the album review playlist, listen to this audio. Peace. It's your boy, Grandmaster Kaz. Now, I recently heard some controversy going around on Twitter about a comment I made in a Vlad interview a few years back. Well, let me clear some shit up for you right about now. Some of the first Latinos in hip hop were down with me. Disco Wiz, Charlie Chase, Joe Conzo, the man who took hip hop's baby pictures, Prince Whip a Whip, okay? All Latinos, all part of my crew, okay? So there's no way that I could talk about there not being a Latino presence in the culture of hip hop. Now, I've stuck my foot in my mouth a couple of times on Vlad interviews, and they probably caught an off, you know what I mean, comment or something like that. But let me clear that up. For all my brothers, my Latino brothers and sisters in hip-hop, I've been an advocate since day one. So knock the bullshit off. Peace. All right, so you heard him. You heard him. He's always been an advocate. You know, people always trying to twist people's words around at the end of the day. Um... People going to say anything. People going to cloud chase. Um, you know, he extended the sentiment to the Latinx community. Puerto Ricans were playing congos and tamales in the park while we was playing turntables. He said at the time. Uh, all right. So they are guests. Um, that's what he said in the 2014 interview when he reflected on Lord Jamar's comments about Eminem and white people being a guest in hip hop. That's what he was saying at that time. So, you know, you know that Fat Joe, um, he came out. Fat Joe, he was the one that said some shit. And, you know, people said, huh? So let me read um, what uh, Fat Joe said. So he hopped on Instagram. This was actually last Friday. And he addressed who believed that the Bronx rapper is spreading a lie about Latinos contributing to hip-hop. Joe says the haters are upset that he posted a video featuring Latino pioneers in hip-hop culture. I don't know what the fuck is up with these people that don't know their facts. Joe went on to explain that the video he posted Thursday night, August 25th, would feature several Latino pioneers from hip-hop. In hip-hop, including DJ Junebug, Prince Whipper, Whip, Rudy D. DJ Disco Wiz, DJ Charlie Chase, the Rocksteady crew, more. History is history. I don't get it. Joe said they got to stop. They got to fucking stop. Um, so Joe, Jeff Fat Joe remarks have generated backlash of comments from the people of social media who believe that the foundational black Americans, FBAs, were the sole creators of hip hop and Latinos were never involved in the culture. And every single element of hip-hop culture was created by financial black Americans and one and two Latinos just happened to wander off into the hip-hop party in the 70s. How does that equate to black and Latinos being half and half in the creation of hip-hop as the author and cultural critique Tariq Nasheed on Twitter? The math ain't mathing. Other people had jumped on Twitter and also disagreed with Fat Joe's statement. That Latinos contributed to hip hop. I'm a 53 year old woman from Jamaica, Queens, New York, raised as a church girl. Even I know that hip hop was birthed by a young black man from the Bronx, I believe, tweeted actress Tanisha Arnold. Where I was how the different boroughs in New York communicated with each other. Stop hijacking hashtag black culture. Another person wrote the fact that zero blacks in hip hop corrected Fab Joe about the oblivious lie. It's fucking pathetic. So damn. So people went at Fat Joe Neck. I mean, you're going to ask me, how do I feel about hip hop? Um, By Latinos being guests in hip hop. I mean, if you think about the diaspora and the Caribbean, West African, you know, you have the African community, you have the African culture, you have the Latino, the Latin culture from the Caribbean. So 
the influence before any Latino. Let's let's let's, let's not throw the Latinos in hip hop, but Latin culture, Latin music comes from African culture, African roots. So I want to clarify that before I say anything. So I don't want to hear no. He's going to no no no. What I'm trying to say is before we say anything, I wasn't there when they created hip hop, as far as like being in the Bronx. But it was it came. The, the essence, the genesis came from the Caribbean to get to the East Coast. Yes, you saw more the predominantly black people in the culture as far as rappers and, you know, um, DJs. I'm not saying the Latinos wasn't there. I believe they were there. But I'm saying that we can go back beyond Latino being involved. And that's not a shade on my, lot, my Latino um, people. That support me, subscribers, non-subscribers, and even some of my friends. I got love for them. I'm just being real. I'm just being real. So this has nothing to do with, oh, you he hate. No, I'm not hating on nobody. But Grandmaster Cass, he clarified his comments. He said what he said. Fat Joe, you know, people was coming at him. And people are still going to always come at Fat Joe. That's how it is. Because, you know, Fat Joe, you know, a lot of people didn't like that. He said that, um... Blacks and Latinos are half and half in the creation of hip-hop. They didn't like that. You know what I'm saying? They didn't like that at all. Because they felt like, huh? Because, you know, black, there's a lot of black people feel like, hold up, how you going to say half and half? Like, you cannot dilute the culture. You cannot, you know, give the culture to somebody else because if it was something that Latinos did by themselves, I'm just saying, they're not going to say, well, the black people helped us. And I'm just being real. I'm just being real. So, Y'all tell me what y'all think. Post your comments below. Oak smash. Black Panther, the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.